It's useful to be able to get rid of a cow's tail occasionally so she doesn't swat you so you can keep it out of the surgical field. And I'll show you the way it's preferred to tie the tail. First thing is to take a piece of clothesline rope or other small diameter rope. You lay it across the cow's switch just below the end of the bony part of the tail, which is right in that area. Then we throw the switch up over top this rope, hold it in that way. Then we take the rope around one time and tuck it up through under that loop. Hold that also with your thumb. Pull down on the other end of it. And you have the tail securely fastened using the switch and to some extent the bony part. But the nice thing about this kind of a tail is tail tie, you can pull it as hard as you want. It won't come loose. Yet when you want to take it loose, all you have to do is pull this end and the whole thing comes apart. So I'll demonstrate that one more time. You have the tail with the bony part and the switch. Lay the end of the rope across the tail. Take this part of the switch, incorporate it under the rope. Hold that around the tail. Take the end of the rope, go around the tail and the switch, one full turn. Come back here, tuck it from the underside, under that rope that went around. Hold that with your thumb so that you make a loop. Pull down on the end of the rope in order to snug it. At this point, then, you have a rope that you can use to tie this tail to some object. I want to make a big point here. <clears throat> in no case do you want to take this rope and tie it to some inanimate object like this. The reason is the cow might get loose and uh, or you might forget to untie the tail when you turn the cow loose. At that point, she can pull her tail off or at least pull the switch off, which usually happens. And the owner is often upset about that. So the rule is that we'll always avoid that kind of a problem, is to tie the tail only to the animal itself. So you have several possibilities there. You might decide to tie it to her hind leg. If you do that, she can still move her tail to some extent. It may not be the best location. One other possibility is to pull the tail snugly up along her side, all the way along her side, throw the end around her neck, reach under and grab it here, and then simply put a halter tie in this area. halter tie. Then that pulls down. The tail is out of the way. Uh, it's not so tight that it'll choke her. And when you want to let this tail loose, you pull this, the rope comes loose, and you're free. If you forget the tail altogether and you have the cow in a stanchion uh, and you turn her loose, she only has the tail tied to herself, so it's no problem. There are various variations on ways to tie this. One of our favorites is to put the tail rope down between the cow's hind legs. The reason is that occasionally, if you have the tail tied forward like that, if she makes a violent movement of her tail, sometimes she'll be able to switch her tail completely onto the opposite side. And that would be disastrous if you're doing surgery in the opposite paralumbar fossa. You can avoid that possibility by taking this rope, again being very cautious when you go around this cow and reach between her hind legs, put the rope between her hind legs, pull her tail up beside the mammary gland or beside the scrotum, <clears throat> come up into the flank on the opposite side, and then either tie it around the neck like we did before, or you might actually tie it to the opposite front leg. I'll come around there and demonstrate that.
could pull this rope down here, under her hind leg, across here, tie with a halter tie right there. Various uh, variations on tying a halter rope.